hello and welcome to my channel i am instructor allison and in this math video tutorial i want to show you how to integrate this function all right but then this is not the usual integration where you need to apply the formula directly and then you get the solution but this one you have to consider some certain stuffs uh, if you check the numerator of this function if you differentiate every of the function you have in all the parameters you have in the denominator, it won't give you what you're having at the denominator. Even if you integrate the denominator, it won't give you what you have at the denominator. When we have special cases like this, you need to think of what to do. And at this point, looking at the denominator, it is a, a quadratic function. So to begin with, we need to factorize. How are we going to factorize this problem? We're going to look for two numbers that when you multiply them, it will give you plus 2 and when you add them you have minus 3 so of course minus 1 and minus 2 are those factor so we'll be having this expression to be the integral of x plus 1 all over x minus 1 into x minus 2 with respect to x so that's what the expression will look like so and at this point, you will need to resolve this into partial fraction. So we're going to use partial fraction to resolve this problem. And if you don't have knowledge of partial fraction, you head over to my videos, you search for partial fraction. I've done a couple of videos on partial fraction with series of examples. And then you get yourself familiar with it. You could just pause the video. And then when you're done with that, you come back. Alternatively, you could still be paying attention because I will still break it down for you to understand the concept. So how do we express this in partial fraction? We're going to assign a constant for this first one and this second one. Uh, so what do we do? Let's have this expression written here. X plus 1 all over. What's the next thing we have? That is X minus 1 into x minus 2 and this will be equal to i will assign a constant a for this first one x minus 1 and also i will assign another constant b for this second one which is x minus 2 so what are we supposed to do ideally we're supposed to just look for the lcm of this denominator which will definitely give us this and after which we multiply the whole of this equation or expression the whole of this equation, both the left hand side by right hand side, by the uh, denominator, which is the LCM, which is this particular one you have in. Eventually, that will cancel out with this and also cancel out with this. But the quick way to go about this is just to cross multiply the diagonals. How do I mean? A will multiply by this and B will multiply by this and equate it to this numerator. So let's do that quickly. If A multiplied by x minus 2, you have the result to be x minus 2 a into x minus 2 similarly if b multiplied by x minus 1 you have the result will be b into x minus 1 and this will be equals the numerator which is x plus 1 i hope that is clear all right so what do we need to do we have two methods when resolving a problem into partial fraction one is the assumption method and the other is a method we call uh, equating of coefficients. But how do we go about the assumption method? If I want to eliminate this b, I will look for a number that will replace it with x so that everything turns to 0. Now we're having x minus 1. Don't you think if I replace this x with 1, 1 minus 1 will give us 0. So the whole thing here becomes 0. And it won't affect the rest of the expression to become 0. So that's how we can be able to eliminate b. If you want to eliminate a, you do the same thing. Think of that number that you substitute for this x to make everything here become zero, which it will not also affect this part. So to begin with, I'll say if x is equal to one, we want to eliminate this b. We then have a into anywhere you see x, you definitely will replace it with one minus two plus b into one minus one, and this will be one plus one. Alright, so of course, 1 minus 2 will give us minus 1. And minus 1 times a will be minus a. And of course, this will become 0. 1 minus 1 is 0. 0 times b is 0. So that will disappear. And what you have left is 2, 1 plus 1. Okay, so we don't want this negative sign. We're looking for a. 
So what we need to do is to multiply the both sides of the equation by negative sign so that it eliminates this, leaving us with a equal to minus 2. So we've gotten the value of a. How then do we get the value of b? In the same manner, you also make x to be equal to 2 because we're having x minus 2. So if you substitute x for 2 here, the whole of this becomes 0. So therefore, the expression there will become x into 2 minus 2 plus b into 2 minus 1 equal to 2 plus 1. All right, so what's the next step here? Of course, this will give us 0. 2 minus 2 is 0. 0 times a is 0. So we'll be having this left-hand side to be 2 minus 1, which is 1. 1 times b is b equal to 2 plus 1 will be 3. So therefore, the value of our a is minus 2 and b is equal to 3. Remember, we are not looking for a and b. These are the constant we introduce. We've gotten the value. So we want to replace this value uh, wherever we introduce the constant, which is here. We want to substitute back. And so that we can be able to take the integral of this function. That's the idea of resolving it to partial fraction. So let's do that right away. So the next thing we need to do is to take the integral. Since we've gotten the values of a and b respectively, we're going to take the integral of, in place of a, we substitute the value of a, which is minus 2, all over, remember the denominator is x minus 1, with respect to x. Plus, we also take the integral of, remember our b is 3 over x minus 2 with respect to x. Maybe if you're confused, you don't know how I got this or arrived at that point. Look at the point here. So what we need to do is to substitute the value of a, which is minus 2 here, over this, and b, which is 3 over this. Remember, it has an integral sign. So integral of this, we just separate it with two integral sign to split this expression. So that's what I just did here. I've already splitted it. So now we want to take the integral of this with respect to x and also the integral of this with respect to x. So this is basic integration. But before we integrate, let's pull out this negative sign or negative 2, this constant in front of the integral sign. So we have minus 2 integration of 1 over x minus 1 dx plus we also pull out this 3 in front of the integral sign. So you have 1 minus x 1 divided by x minus 2 dx so what's the next thing uh, let's state the rule there's a rule that governs this if you have the integral of 1 over x minus 1 with respect to x the result will give ln of x minus 1 plus constant c so having known this rule so we just have this first term to be minus 2 ln x minus 1 following this model plus 3 into oh sorry yeah we just make it lean of x minus 2 then since we've removed the integral sign we introduce a constant c which is an arbitrary constant so what do we need to do following the rule of logarithm but before then let's rearrange this expression how do we rearrange this is have starting a negative sign so we just swap it so that we have 3 lean x minus 2 and here we have a minus 2 lean x minus 1 then plus constant c so what i just did was just to swap the system so now following the rule of log power law you can take this up here take this up here so we have lean of x minus 2 all cube minus lean of x minus 1 all square plus constant c the rule of logarithm which is division law have it that when you have negative sign it divide this function like if you have the lean of x minus lean of y this is same thing as lean of x over y it's a rule of logarithm so let's apply it here so because we have lean here we'll just take one of this and then open a parenthesis so that we have x minus 2 all cube divide by x minus 1 all squared this will be plus constant c and this is the solution of this problem I hope you found this helpful and if you're new to this channel please smash the subscribe button like this video share and that will help me grow my channel i really appreciate you if you do all that thank you very much for watching for all of that and more i'll see you in the next video bye bye